Tim, what have you observed in our digging here today of the plots? Well, Denny, in in running the shovel, there in our check plots, there was just a hard layer around two inches. And I felt that with the shovel, and that was visible in the soybean roots. And with SP1, I just didn't have that. I was able to get to, to below the roots three, four inches without nearly as much trouble. Um, and then when we dumped some soil down, it, it seemed more granular in the SP1. But what I really noticed is in the check and the straight fertilizer plots, there'd be the chunks that fell off and you could tell right where the shovel was. It kind of smeared. And just like you'd be seeing that with any tillage implement when it was a little bit wet. And I just didn't see that at all with the SP1 soil. If we took and made a statement to the American farmer that the utilization of SP1 in an application and growing corn could improve your soil structure to the point that it really was the cover crop. You were improving soil structure, soil health, better granulation, less platiness, maybe an impact on improved uh, decomposition of uh, previous crop residue. Maybe when you plant uh, corn and, and you see that the seed to soil contact was better where SP1 had been used previous years. What would you say? Well, Denny, as the American farmer, I'd first say you were crazy just because uh, soil health is so important, but so many of the lengths we've had to go to, I mean, cover crops, that there's just so many tough management decisions that to say a product can do that, it'd be hard to believe, but I would definitely be interested. And, and if I didn't see it with my own eyes, I, I really don't think I'd believe it at all. But I think that definitely would, would strike a nerve, and, and man, you at least have to check that out, on, just on the possibility that it was true. And early in the season, we've noticed SP1, and when it's at field capacity water, it's more granular and, and, and doesn't shear quite as much with the shovel. But now I've got some of the particles we had left over, and I can, and they bust apart. And I basically got dust in my hand now, because it just all kind of cleaves, and, and there's not uh, too much cementing there that, that stays in the dry. And now I've got, the, from the check, and I like to think I've got pretty strong hands, but I can't get that thing. There it finally went, Denny, but uh, so, like what well, I would think in the middle of summer if your ground gets dry or if you're trying to plant through dry soil or something, this check soil just got so hard and cemented together, whereas the, the SP1, I would say it had better tilth and uh, would just be easier for roots to grow through, easier for any kind of equipment to work through, save you a little diesel fuel. It had the SP1, and you're looking at this soil here that was checked. Now, come next spring and we go out to plant. Which area is going to be a little easier to plant in? This grayer, lumpier, harder soil or this soil that tends to be more granulated and want to break up?